Happy Friday, Internet. <coughs> Welcome back to another weekly recap of everything Oculus Quest. Today we're chatting about new games and experiences heading your way, the big old update to big screen that adds 50 plus free channels to stream, and the possible arrival of not one but two major video game franchises on standalone. Let's break it down. First up, new games and experiences. On July 18th, Gravity Sketch, a popular immersive 3D design tool originally released on the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, will make its way to the Oculus Quest, offering standalone users the chance to design stunning 3D models, scenes, and artwork in VR, and then export their creations to various CAD software, game engines, or 3D printing platforms. Those of you who already own a copy for Rift will be able to download the Quest version free of charge. Another title arriving July 18th is Racket NX. Originally released on HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, the futuristic VR experience can best be described as racquetball meets breakout meets pinball. Sort of. Kind of. Gun Club VR, a realistic virtual weapon simulator featuring a variety of wacky skill-based challenges, has also been confirmed for release on the Quest, although no date or price has been provided as of yet. Now, all these upcoming titles are well and good, but what about experiences you can jump into right now? Available now for free on the Quest Within is a story-based virtual and augmented reality platform that hosts a generous catalog of immersive videos. Founded in 2014, the platform has since expanded to include everything from animation and music videos to documentaries and various other experimental projects. Available today for the low, low price of $0.00 is the beta for Big Screen TV, an ambitious new initiative for the immersive social computing experience that allows users to stream over 50 free channels of video content. This includes movie and TV content such as Pokemon, Pluto movies, and various other anime, gaming and sports content such as Fox Sports and Twitch, and various news and finance content. Also, also available for free is a pre-alpha build of T for God, an experimental VR roguelike shooter that uses a combination of non-Euclidean geometry and procedural generation to create impossible VR levels designed to fit within your designated play space. This allows you to physically walk around your virtual environment instead of having to rely on teleportation or artificial locomotion. Think of it like the famous MC Escher painting, only in VR and with robots. Users can head over to the developer's itch.io page to download the APK and sideload it onto their quest now. And finally, our biggest story of the week, a new report claims that two of Ubisoft's biggest franchises could be heading to the Oculus Quest. Could be. In a recent report by The Information, the publication claims that, quote, two people familiar with the matter, unquote, have stated that Facebook has already signed a deal with the game publisher to bring VR versions of both Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell to the Oculus Quest and Oculus Rift S. According to sources, these acquisitions are just the first in a series of upcoming purchases being made by the company in a new attempt to attract new users to VR. Facebook has yet to comment. And that wraps it up for this week, but for everything Oculus Quest, be sure you're subscribed to us here on YouTube, and for everything VR and AR, make sure you're stopping by VRScout.com. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. I will see you on the next Quest.